In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite defenses in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I do, I break down every single day Madden 21 videos that are designed to help you get better at the game. We try to give you eight different videos every single day that are basically designed to give you tactics, strategies, and tips that can help you win more games and be more effective in Madden 21. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about defense as a mindset. I'm gonna share with you a couple of key little pointers that really help me when crafting a defense through the lens of a couple of questions. And before we jump into that, I wanted to let you know that the defense that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, the full scheme is available in the description. And if you'd like to get a sample of the entire ebook, Book, then just go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the description of this video. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share with you just a brief overview of the Nickel 335 wide. I've talked a lot about it. A lot of people message me, and they ask me, Cody, what is the best defense in Madden? And I have to admit to you, it's, it's almost, I probably sound like a broken record, but it's really, really true that this uh, nickel 335 wide defense is by far, in a way, the best defense in the game. And it's one of my favorite defenses to run because it's so simple, okay? And I think that actually helps a ton when you're crafting a defense. So the only thing that we do is we simply put the Mike Blitz 3 in our audibles. We put the Mike Blitz O in our audibles. I mean, it's really already there for you. And then the last thing is these coaching adjustments. I've turned auto flip on. I have auto alignment set to default, ball and air defense to play receiver, cornerback matchups on balance, option defense to conservative, strip ball on balance, tackling on balance, flats on default, and curl flats I either put at 20 or 25 yards. And then hook curls are either on default and occasionally I'll put them at five yards. And now what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to come out in the 335. And the reason I do this, and this is a very important step, is it allows me to get better personnel on the field. And what I mean by better personnel, most people would, if you're trying to defend the pass, you would come out in a dollar set because you could put safeties at the linebacker position, you could put linebackers at the defensive end position, and then it would allow you to have basically one defensive lineman, two outside linebackers, and the rest of them will be cornerbacks. With the nickel 35, you can basically get the same look. As you notice here, I have one defensive lineman. The two line, linemen here, Zedarius Smith and Rashawn Gary, are both linebackers. And then at these positions here at linebacker, I have safeties at every single one of those positions. The other reason that that actually helps me a ton is because it allows me to cross man anyone that I want, any and everyone that I want, when I want to start to stop opponent's tendencies. And so I'm going to give you two defenses today that I think are really, really good, specifically against the Gun Bunch. A lot of you guys know that the Gun Bunch is really hard to stop. And this, if you apply some of these strategies, um, this is going to make stopping the Gun Bunch, I think, a little bit easier for you. So we're going to dive right in. First and foremost is a man coverage defense that I absolutely love, and that's cover two man. Now, the one thing that you want to make sure that you do, especially when you're playing somebody that's running gun bunch is you kind of in my opinion want to switch things up a little bit okay and you don't want to just run things remote and verbatim but you want to run them you know strategic and, and and be strategic with that so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to audible to cover two man i'm going to spread my line and i'm going to crash my line out or i'm going to shift my line to the left side and crash my line out either way the line gets crashed out i recommend against gun bunch go ahead and just spreading your line but some um but in general, you know, it does help stopping the run a little bit if you slide them to the left side. So, and we talk about this in the defensive ebook at length about how to stop every single shotgun run in the game. Um, and that's what's really nice about this defense. And the next thing that I personally like to do against Gun Bunch is, again, one of the big things that you have to recognize is you're facing these three receivers on the right. The left side receiver typically is going to be on a playmaker or something like that. And so what I like to do is I like to bring this safety down right here, and I actually like to man the safety up onto Mike Evans. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take my linebacker that is on the line of scrimmage right here, and I like to cross man him up against the slot cornerback on, or the slot wide receiver on the right side. And then from there, what I'm simply going to do is essentially play a roll coverage. So I'm gonna man my other linebacker up on the tight end, 
and then I'm going to take that slot and I'm going to put my slot in a curl flat zone. Now you'll notice that what this allows is it allows me to have still a user free. I want my user to be in a bluff blitz or a blitz angle. And then from there right there, what I'm going to probably do is do something to this effect right here. And essentially I have cover two man on one side of the field. And then on the other side of the field, I have basically standard man coverage with a three down lineman rush. Now out of the three down lineman rush, you can do other things as well. One of the other things that I do like to do, especially out of a three down lineman rush, is drop a purple zone out there to take away any crossing routes. This is a very simple coverage defense, but one of the most effective ones in the entire game, in my opinion. And what you'll notice is when people go to popular setups, one of the popular setups would be to put their inside receiver or that solo receiver on the left on a post route. Well, the post routes are your responsibility, but other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump into instant replay. And I want to show you how everything is pretty much covered, um, especially with a lot of the way people like to use bunch. You'll notice here that on the left side, you see I get really, really good positioning, and I'm able to not only stop the post drop because I have inside leverage, but I'm also able to do a pretty good job at stopping any streaks over the top. On the right side, you'll see that the uh, press coverage feature does really, really wonders for me. As you see, the slot corner or the slot receiver gets jammed. You see a natural little switch here into these routes. And, all, and my job would basically be to kind of keep that middle of the field contained. But other than that, everything is pretty much covered. And the defense is able to live another down. So you see that this is one element of the way of a way that you can play man defense. I'm going to show you this one more time, but I'm going to show, you show it to you through the lens of one of the most popular plays in Gun Bunch, and that is this simple play right here that you're going to see on your screen. This is one of the most popular plays in the entire game. I'm going to show you how this setup right here does a pretty good job of taking this away. So again, you're going to bring the safety down. When you bring him down, you're going to man him up on two square. And then from there, I'm going to man that outside cornerback up on the running back. I'm going to cross man the linebacker onto the slot receiver. I'm going to take the guy that's already on the slot receiver and I'm going to put him in a purple zone. And then I'm going to take my linebacker on the right side and man him up on the tight end. And then last but not least, what I like to do is drop some type of either middle zone. Like for example, I might take the um, the left left of screen defensive end and drop him into a bluff blitz or I could do it uh, on the right side as well If I did this setup right here, I could do something like this These three wrecks are really really good against gun bunch in my opinion So you could do something like that. You could also drop a purple zone It's kind of up to you what you want to do So I'm gonna do something just to that effect right there And what you'll notice is how good of a job that this does at trying to stop one of the most popular setups in the entire game You'll see that that corner route, even though he does get some initial separation, is going to be hard to throw at the timing, and it's going to allow the man coverage to basically be able to catch up to it and essentially take it away. Let me show you this in instant replay um, so that you can kind of see a better look at it. So you look on the left side here, you see we pretty much have everything taken away. Um, if you look on the right here, you see we have the out route is pretty much taken away. The route to Gronkowski is pretty much taken away. So the only route that we really have to worry about is this route. And I believe that this is one of the best routes, if not the best route, in the entire game. Um, and you'll notice right here that there's really no window to throw it. If he throws it here, right, there's a small window that you can throw it right here. But you can click on the corner and you can make that interception. So that's another little step that you can have for the defense. Now the last play that I want to show you is essentially a counter to everything that I just talked to you about. And because we were running primarily coverage defense. Now the next setup is from Mike Blitz O. And I'm going to show you how to basically create pressure. Literally it's super, super simple. All you're going to do is you're going to spread your line, crash your line out. Now, the only adjustment that I like to make out of this in particular is I really do like to switch these uh, assignments right here between that outside guy. I really like this. I think this gives a really bit of a, a little bit of a unique man coverage flavor to this defense. And as you see here, you're going to get pretty much instant pressure at the quarterback. Now, one thing that you might be concerned about, and I do want to acknowledge this real quickly uh, before, and before I jump into this, I do want to remind you to go ahead and text me if you want to get the whole um, scheme from the gun bunch. So just shoot me a text, or not gun bunch, the uh, 335 wide, if you want to get the sample uh, to the entire ebook. But if you take a look here, the one thing that might concern you is it, if it, and it definitely does concern me, would be what if they take Mike Evans here and they put him on a streak route? Well, let me show you what this is going to look like. Um, if I take Mike Evans and I just streak him, so at the snap of the ball, you're going to see, oh, I see that, and I try to lob this up. You're going to see that because you have because you have a good corner there you can be able to catch that streak with ease. You don't have to worry about that. And that's one of the beauties of this defense. I think this creates a lot of 
um, potential because what ends up happening is you get man coverage that is inside leverage. You create inside leverage for yourself on this route, and that is going to be critical. If they try to throw that quick, you see it's going to be an interception, and you're going to be able to get out of there. So this is one of my favorite man coverages to go to against the shotgun bunch in Madden 21. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to dive a little bit deeper. Hopefully you enjoy these deeper setup videos that kind of help you stop specific formations in Madden 21. We'll continue to talk about this. The next formation we're going to give you a defense for is the trips tight end. In my opinion, one of the toughest offenses to defend in the entire game. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. We did a little bit differently. Not so, it's not so much a pressure versus coverage setup, but more of a simple formation defense. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the full scheme, that link is in the description. You can pick up the entire ebook that shows you how to stop every single run in the game and and also the majority of the meta passing sets as well and gives you the best pressure and the best run defense and the best coverage defense all in one package that defensive ebook is in the description of this video and it's on sale right now for just 15 bucks you can pick it up it's been helping people win cfms people have won money games with this people have won weekend league games with this this defense is elite and that's why you're seeing every mcs pro right now run it in competitive madden make sure to pick it up the link is in the description of this video it's been the best defense all year and i'm glad that people are finally starting to catch on pick it up today it could be yours and in my opinion it's really going to help you take your defense to the next level if you have any questions you can always text me my number is 812-216-3644 thanks for watching guys